Integrate Pabli Connect with popular CRM software like Salesforce, HubSpot, Keep, Pipedrive and Zoho CRM software. So if you are new to Pabli Connect, let me give you a quick definition that Pabli Connect is an integration and automation software that allows you to connect multiple applications and automate your task. Read it once again. It allows you to connect multiple applications and automate your manual task. Now why one should integrate their CRM software with the Pabli Connect? So it provides a seamless connectivity between your CRM CRM software and other third party applications like Google Forms, Google Sheets, MS Excel, WhatsApp application, Gmail application, SMS application, etc. Yes, this integration will allow you to connect your CRM with popular third party application. Now, what benefit you will get if you will connect your CRM application with different popular applications? So, the most important and best benefit is automatic data transfer. Yes, you will be able to transfer the data between your CRM and between different application automatically and if the data transfer will be automated it is going to save a lot of time which again reduce the manual work of your team and increases the productivity and ultimately boost your sales still not sure how it is going to happen let me give you some integration use case some real life example so assume that you have created an e-commerce store using woocommerce now whenever a new customer will place an order in your woocommerce store the same customer Customer will be added as a contact in Salesforce CRM and not just into the Salesforce CRM. You can sync your customers' data even with Pipedrive, HubSpot, Zoho, and other CRM application as well. Taking another example, let's assume that a new contact has just added in your Pipedrive CRM. Now you can send a welcome message to the same person on WhatsApp automatically. Note this thing once again that you will be able to automatically send the message on whatsapp so remember i have told you the best benefit of crm integration is you will be able to transfer the data automatically taking another example when a new response is received in your google forms now you can add the same person as a contact again in the hubspot crm as well okay so in this way you can automate lot of complex business processes by simply building a connection in different application now how to reach out to pabli connect and build the connection in different application let me show you everything from scratch so i'm taking an example of how to add google forms responses to zoho crm automatically now in front of you i'm going to submit my google forms and whenever the form response is received you will see how the same person will be added as a contact in zoho crm software want to learn how you can also do that come with me and i will show you everything step by step so this is the basic event registration form I have created using Google Forms and in front of you I will submit this form and you will see how my details will be added as a contact automatically in Zoho CRM. But before that firstly I will have to build an integration in these two applications which again I will do with the help of Pabli Connect and I have already told you everything about Pabli Connect. Simply write this pabli.com slash connect in your browser and I am an existing user of Pabli Connect so I am already logged in here. You can create your free account in Pabli Connect in just a 2 minutes from the sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing auto mission now once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of public connect click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i have directly pasted the name as connect to google forms and zoho crm with the public connect now it is asking to select the folder so i'm selecting this main workflow folder now clicking on create and after that you will find two boxes so these boxes are actually called as trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever something happen in your first application then automatically do this in your next application so in this way you need to always choose your applications in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation so according to our use case i will be selecting google forms here but again in place of google forms you can also select type form or jot form or even paper form and not just the form application you can also select any spreadsheet application okay but according to my use case i'll go with the same that is google forms okay so in this way you can select the application which you are connecting with the public connect or we can say which we are connecting with zoho crm okay and in action 
main application i'll select my crm that is zoho crm okay currently i'm selecting zoho crm you can also sync your google form submission with salesforce crm also okay give me a second this is salesforce you can also search for hubspot okay so in this way you can select different applications in the trigger and the action window and automate your task okay selecting the zoho crm once again okay and once you will select these two application in the trigger and the action window now you will have to connect these two applications one by one with the pabli connect okay so let us first connect to google forms and pabli connect so firstly i will select the trigger even that is new response received okay you can also read the instructions triggers when a form is submitted and our response is added as a new row in the spreadsheet yes we are going to connect our google forms with the pabli connect with the help of spreadsheet which is actually associated with our google forms let me first open this spreadsheet all right yes i am going to create a new spreadsheet only let me also pin this tab and firstly i am going to maximize i am going to increase the zoom percentage so that you can see the data very clearly all right this is going to be my spreadsheet but before i connect it how about i first make a dummy submission so that the submission will be added here and then i am going to connect this spreadsheet with the pabli connect and going to capture the same form responses data okay so let me preview this form so i have provided some dummy details the first name as demo the last name as user the email address as demo user 321 at pabdtutes.com the organization name is abc which days you will attend so day 1 i have selected selected dietary restriction is selected as vegetarian i understand that i will have to pay upon arrival all right so let me submit this form and now the same data will be added to my spreadsheet which i am going to send to pabli connect dashboard okay let me correct the formatting okay so that you can see the data very clearly coming back to the dashboard of pabli connect now i am going to copy this webhook url and paste it into that spreadsheet only now how you can also do that every instruction is already mentioned here so this is my spreadsheet clicking on extension clicking on addons clicking on get addons and here you will have to search for the pabli connect webhook addon let me search for the same and you will notice that this addon is already already installed in my account because i have already created several connections several automation okay but make sure that you install this addon firstly because after that you'll have to click on this extension once again and you will have to open the same addon from here clicking on initial setup and here exactly i am going to paste the same webhook url which i have just got via public connect all right so i have copied the same let me paste the same here asking for the trigger column so read the instruction first the trigger column will be your final data column on which if the data is added the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook url okay so basically it is asking to specify a column name on filling of which this automation should trigger or we can say the data should be sent to pabli connect okay so in our case we have the last column as gh okay we have h i guess how about i cross check it yes we have the last data entry column as h only so i am going to add the same column as the trigger column okay i will have to paste my webhook url once again let me add it as h clicking on send test and you will notice that the first row data will be sent to pabli connect okay it is saying test data sent successfully and it is showing the date the name the email the organization name and every detail okay let me submit it clicking on close coming back to the dashboard of pabli connect and here you can notice the response is received okay let me even show you the details one by one what date what days will you attend day one trigger column is h we also have the same spreadsheet name and here we have all the details like the organization name the last name this consent the first name and the email address okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between google forms and pabli connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time someone will submit this event registration form the data will be captured via pabli connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay so in this way the first step of our automation is done 
and in this way you can connect a different application with the Pabli Connect and capture the data here and once you have the data inside Pabli Connect now you can send that data to different application currently in our case I'm sending this data to Zoho CRM application okay so let me select the action even that is add a contact or we can say create a contact now clicking on connect and just like I have connected Google Forms and Pabli Connect now I will be connecting this Zoho CRM with the Pabli Connect click on this button directly and then it will ask you the domain so here we have the domain that is zoho.in so let me copy and paste the same here and then it is going to ask you the access of your Zoho CRM account okay but because I'm already logged in in my Zoho CRM in a different tab so instead of asking me for the access it is asking me for the permission basically it has detected that access and here you can notice my Zoho CRM is immediately connected with the Pabli Connect and the very first thing it is asking for the lead source so you can select any source of your choice how about I go with this advertisement only asking for the first name last name email and a lot of other details which are actually required for creating a contact in any CRM okay so I'm going to provide the data only into the required or into the important fields because remember we have collected the basic information only from our event registration form okay now instead of manually copying the above data and paste below again and again the interesting thing here is I am going to map this data which will replace this data automatically when my automation will work in real time and mapping is very simple click on this field and you will find the above data here in the drop down search for your data and select it and in this way it will be mapped okay and in the same way I am going to map the data in other fields also okay and let me tell you this once again whatever the details I am mapping here from this drop down these details will be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time and whatever the detail I will provide here manually will remain same okay so this is the difference in providing the values via mapping and via manually and that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation let me also map the phone number okay I will have to check whether I have collected any phone number information or not no I haven't collected this data so let me leave this particular field also blank okay so how about I click on this save and send test request button and then I'm expecting that my details will be added as a contact in Zoho CRM you can notice no contacts found currently clicking on this button save and send test request waiting for the response to receive well the response is received which is so showing success I'm really sorry for that let me refresh my Zoho CRM dashboard and fingers crossed waiting for the contact to be created here and did you notice the same person has been created as a contact in our Zoho CRM software as well without doing anything manually all right so this is the email address and this is the name of the person okay currently I have added only basic information but you can sing lot of other data also if you have collected that data from your source application okay so in this way with the help of Pabli connect you can connect to different applications and automate your task very effectively and if you want to access this automation workflow inside your Pabli Connect account I will also attach the link of my automation workflow into the description box so click on this link sign up for free into the Pabli Connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your own Pabli Connect account and let me tell you a very important thing once this automation is ready inside Pabli Connect you can even close Pabli Connect because everything will work in the back end Pabli Connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end and the most important thing is kindly enable the send on event option also okay I'm repeating this thing once again you will have to enable this option if you will enable this option this will ensure that every time the new data is added in this spreadsheet the data will be sent automatically to Pabli Connect and the last but not the least whenever you are connecting your Google Forms or Google Sheets with Pabli Connect either you work in the incognito window or multiple Gmail accounts should not be logged in in the same tab I'm repeating this thing once again either work in the incognito window or multiple gmail accounts should not be logged in in the same tab not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com 
my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video